लोकनाम हितकार ना त्रिभुवने मन्ना शरण करो राधा कृष्ण पधार बिंद बजना नंदिना मातालिको राधा कृष्ण पधार बिंद बजना नंदे नमतालिको बांधे रूपा सनातन राजुच्यको शिवा गोपालको बांधे रूपा सनातन राजुजुगो श्रीजीवा गोपालको बांधे रूपा सनातन राजुच्यको बंदे रूप शनातना रघुजुगो श्रीजी भगपाल कौ beginning the the introduction to this bhakti rasamrita sindhu summary study by shila prabhupad entitled nectar of devotion amra shila goshami birochita bhakti rasamrita grantha prastavana pathan shuru kore ache in this introduction shila prabhupad will first of all and uh, give the translation and meaning of the mangalacharanam which shrila rupa goswami used at the beginning of the book there are six six verses so shrila prapa will give us the meaning and um, the indi indications behind these verses then after the after the mangala charanam then uh, there is a description of the contents of the book mangala charanar pore boitite ki ki And then the final part of the introduction is uh, 
the a definition of pure devotional service given by Rupa Goswami. So first of all we'll look at the we'll hear the invocation. Purpose of the invocation is described in Chaitanya Charitamrita that there are three purposes in the invocation. Uh, first of all there will be description of the object of the book. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Mangala Charanatinti Uddesha Bhana Kravati Sri Tala Putana. Then the author, the author also offer, will want to offer his obeisances. Uh, what was the first one? The first one was the, 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 the content of the, describe the object of the book, the purpose of the book. Pothom bhaagda phalo je jini rachana kar tini boitir je mool vishwai shetir tule dhorben e bang tarpare tini dityo dhabe tini pranam nivedan kore. And the second thing is the author offering his obeisances. And then the third thing is the benediction which is given to those who read the book. And so the purpose of the, this invocation, you see in the, like in the Chaitanya Charitamrita and in Srimad Bhagavatam, there are the verses the in the invocation as there. Apni dekhen je Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita evam Srimad Bhagavatam e eroko mangala chhono reche. So the purpose of these verses is to create auspiciousness. Is logler udesho holo mangal maay poristhiti shishte gora. So Sri Prabhat begins by the subheading to his introduction. He said invoking auspiciousness. So Lord Sri Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the cause of all causes, the reservoir of all rasas or relationships, which are called neutrality, passive adoration, servitorship, friendship, parenthood, conjugal love, comedy, Compassion, fear, chivalry, ghastliness, wonder, and devastation. He is the supreme attractive form, and by his universal and transcendental attractive features, he has captivated all the gopis, headed by Taraka, Palika, Shama, Lalita, and ultimately Srimati Radharani. Let his lordship's grace be on us so that there may not be any hindrance in the execution of this duty of writing the nectar of devotion impelled by His Divine Grace Sri Srimad Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati Goswami Prabhupada Mangala Charan Prabhupada Likchen Sri Krishna Hachan Parameshwar Bhagavan Sarva Karaner Param Karan Ebon Shanto Dasho Shokho Vatshalo Madhurjo Hasho, Beer, Rodro, Korun, Bhayano, Kebang Bibhatsho, E Shomosto Rosher, Parom Adhar, Tarup, Parom Akor Shok, Ebang She Opra Krito Rupert Daratini, Taroka, Palika, Shama, Lolita, Ebang Shorbopuri, Srimati Radharani, Promuk Shomosto Gopider Chito Horon Kurichin, She Paramashar Bhagavaner Kripa, Jano Amra Lap Kurtipari, Jate, Bukti Rosham Rito Shindu, Gronto Pronayaner Karjakuno Bigno Pustit Nahai. I am a the reservoir of all rasas, Akila Ras Amrita Murti. Srila Prabhupada, Ekhane Srila Rupa Goswami Je Pratham Slok Tari Anubad Korechen, Ebang Shikhane Rupa Goswami Bhananan Korechen Je Krishna Holen Shomusta Rasha Radha. 
So then Srila Prabhupada lists the twelve different rasas, five primary and seven secondary. And how Lord Krishna enjoys all these different rasas in relationship with his devotees. And this is a special feature of Lord Krishna which makes him all attractive. We see, for example, Lord Narayan, that his form is more of majesty and opulence. So it creates a gap between him and his devotees. Lord Narayan is with his goddess of fortune, his consort, the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi. And Lord Narayan is like a king, he's like a ruler, he's above everyone. Bhagavan Narayan Tini Hulan Ajun Raja Ba Ajun Shashukar Moto Abang Tar but Lord Krishna enjoys the opul uh, Lord Krishna enjoys the sweet dealings with his devotees. Hindu Krishna Tar Bhaktagana Shange Mishti J Adan Pudan Shitika Ashadam Kuran. And that allows greater intimacy and more pleasure in the different dealings. Abang Shiti Aravashi Anturango Abang Aravashi Anandarashad. And, in this way, Lord Krishna is established as the all-attractive Supreme Personality of Godhead. And then uh, Rupa Goswami mentions different gopis. Of course, the gopis, they are great devotees of Lord Krishna. And he is mentioned here, five gopis are mentioned in different, and they are in different levels of intimacy with Lord Krishna. So it's not that all gopis are the same, it's not that they are all equal. There are different levels of intimate loving dealings between them and Krishna. So Tarika and Palika they're lower and on the higher than them is Shama and Lalita. And above them is Srimati Radharani. She is the supermost. So Taruka Palika, Tardeche, Shama, Sreshtavang Tarche, Lalita, Ebang Shopche, Shorbo Sreshtavale, Srimati Radharani. Tini Shomosta Gopiganama the Mukho. According to their natures, according to their positions, they enjoy different pastimes with Lord Krishna. And then Srila Prabhupada mentions at the end about how this nectar of devotion is impelled by his own spiritual master, Om Vishnupad Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada. Sri Prabhupada told the devotees that uh, at the time of his initiation, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada had told him that you read very carefully Bhakti Ratamrita Sindhu. This is a very important book by Rupa Goswami. And you should read it carefully, it will help to keep you very strong 
in Krishna consciousness. Srila Prabhupada said that when Tar Jokon Dikahoy, Tokon Tar Gurudev, Hong Vishma Sri Bhakti Shidan to Shashuti Thakur, Take Nidesh Dishlen, to me Bhakti Rasham Ridush in the Grunt Tiko, Halo Havi Odhan Korokaran, Eti Tomake, Bhakti Pote, Dru Havi, Stir Takta Shajukur, Munotin Pokaku Shahoy. So this was the, the first verse of the Mangala Charan. Now we'll read what Srila Prabhupada says about the second verse of the Mangala Charan. Let me offer my respectful obeisances <coughs> unto the lotus feet of Sri Rupa Goswami Prabhupada and of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada by whose inspiration I've been engaged in the matter of compiling this summary study of Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. This is the sublime science of devotional service as propounded by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who appeared 500 years ago in West Bengal, India to propagate the movement of Krishna consciousness. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Shastri Goswami Prabhupada Sri Padapadme Shastrode Punati Jana Chen Amar Parabhadda Gurudev O Vishnupad Sri Sri Mad Bhakti Siddhanta Shastri Goswami Prabhupada Runa Prarunai Ami Bhakti Rasamrita Shindu Granthe Shar Sankulaner Kaja Brothi Hoyechi Aj Thake Patsho Bachar Again Navadipir Sri Dham Mayapure Avaturina Hoye Sri Chaitana Mahaprabhu Che Krishna Bhavana Amrita Andaloner Puchar Kore Gichilen so, in this second verse, Rupa Goswami is offering his respects to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because the science of Rasa Tattva, which is described here in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, this was taught to Rupa Goswami by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Prabhupada, the Khanai Srila Rup Goswami Thakur, Rup Goswami Charnatini Pranati Nivedan Koresan Karan, a Bhakti Rasham Ritu Shindu Grunthil, Chikane, Srila Rup Goswami Bishesh Bhave, the Bhakti Rosh, She Vapare, She Biganer Vapare Bishad Alasana Koresan, among She Rup Goswami, a Vapare, Sri Chetan of Mahapuru Kastaki Shik Kalap Koresan, the Srila Prabhupada, Rup Goswami Charnat Pranati Nivedan Koresan. Uh, so, Lord Chaitanya instructed Rupa Goswami for 10 days, we said, at uh, Prayag, at where the Ganges meets the Yamuna, at the Prayag, at a particular place called Dash Ashwamedha Ghat. You can go there to Dashashwamedha Ghat, there's a temple there and there's a stone there which describes here that Lord Chaitanya sat here with Rupa Goswami and they, taught, they discussed the science of Bhakti Yoga together. It's a very nice place, very appropriate place to hear about Krishna, to sit there at the banks in the holy place and to hear from the mouth of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So everything Rupa Goswami had is included here in this Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And then and then Sri Prabhupada again mentions his own spiritual master who has inspired him in this matter to study. 
যে গুরু মহারাজ তার কথা উল্লেখ করেছেন এবং যার অনুপ্রেরণায় তিনি এই ভক্তি রসমিত সিন্ধু গ্রন্থের অনুবাদ কার্য গড়তি হয়েছে না দেশ রূপাস্বামী বিগিনস his great book by offering his respectful obeisances unto Sri Sanatan Goswami who is his elder brother and spiritual master and he prays that Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu may be very pleasing to him. He further prays that by residing in that ocean of nectar Sri Sanatan Goswami may always feel transcendental pleasure in the service of Krishna. Srila Rupa Goswami, a Mohan Granthir Arambhe, Tar Jeshto Bhrata, O Gurudev, Srila Sanatam Goswami, Sri Pada Padme, Pranati Nivedan Kurechen, Ebang Sri Nik Prathana Kurechen, Jee, Ehi Bhakti Rasamrita Shindu Granthirti Jano, Tar Nitto Anandu Vidhan Kure, Tine Aro Prathana Kurechen, Jee, Shai Amrita Sarobare, Avasthan Kure, Srila Sanatam Goswami Jano, Nirantar, Sri Sri Radha Krishna Shivai, Dibbo Anandu Anubhav Kurte Paren, So, Sanatana Goswami, the elder brother of Srila Rupa Goswami, we, we see how Rupa Goswami is very respectful, honoring his elder brother. So, Srila Sanatana Goswami Chilen, Srila Rupa Goswami Padir Jeshto Bhrata, even Amra Dekta Pai Jetini, Tar Jeshto Bhrata, Ananda Bidhana Junata Shivar Juna, Kato Nishtavan Bhave Prayash Kurchan. Describes him as his spiritual master. Sometimes we say that both Rupa and Sanatan are direct disciples. In fact, all the Goswamis of Vrindavan, they're all direct disciples of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Rupa Goswami prays that, that his writing of this Bhakti Ratamrita Sindhu will give pleasure to his elder brother. And he describes that reading this book you will be able to be you will be able to reside in the ocean of nectar and remember the transcendental pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Then in the fourth verse, he offers his respects to the great devotees and acharyas. Srila Prabhupada describes, let us offer our respectful obeisances to all the great devotees and acharyas, holy teachers, who are compared to sharks in the great ocean of nectar and who do not care for the various rivers of liberation. Impersonalists are very fond of merging into the Supreme, like rivers that come down and merge into the ocean. The ocean can be compared to liberation and the rivers to all the different paths of liberation. The impersonalists are dwelling in the river water which eventually comes to mix with the ocean. They have no information, however, that within the ocean, as within the river, there are innumerable aquatic living entities. The sharks who dwell in the ocean do not care for the rivers which are gliding down into it. The devotees eternally live in the ocean of devotional service and they do not care for the rivers. In other words, those who are pure devotees always remain in the ocean of transcendental loving service to the Lord and have no business with the other processes which are compared to the rivers 
that only gradually come to the ocean. Srila Prabhupada Likchen, Samastha Mahan Bhakta Vachar Jodha Charane, Amadar Pranati Nivedan Kuri Jara Hochen, Amritir Samudra Makurir Mato, Makur Jirakam, Nodikke Grajjo Karena, Krishna Bhakti Samudra, Ehi Samastha Makurir Ao, Tamani Mukti Rup Nodikke Grajjo Karena, Nodik Jaman Samudra Misha Jai, Nirvishesh Badir Ao, Tamani Brahma Jati Te Lien Hoye Jete Bhaasto, समुद्र के मुक्ति संगे तुलना करा जाए एवं विभिन्न नदीगुली होती है मुक्ति लाभे विभिन्न उपाय निर्विशेष बादीरा शेही नदीर जले बास करे जा एक सुमाई समुद्र मिशे जावे किंतु तारा जाने ना जे समुद्रे ओ नदीर मत अशंखो जलचार प्राणी रोए चे समुद्रे बास करे जे मकोर शे जमन कोकुना नदी ते प्रवेश करते पक्कांतरे बोला जाए जरा भगवाने शुद्ध भक्तों तरा सर्वदा यह प्राकृत प्रेम रूप समुद्रे बास करें एवं अन्य कुनो पंथ है तादर आग्रह होने ही शेइगलो के नदी संगे तुलना करा हुए चीन। So this is a very interesting and important prayer which Sri Larupa Goswami has given, It's describing that the acharyas and devotees. That they are like sharks in the great ocean of nectar. So, the Rupa Goswami is saying that the Upamati is prostrate for a change. It is a very common thing. And the Tini Bolchen is saying that the Acharya Ratara is saying that the Amrita Samudra is a very common thing. The impersonalists, they like to merge. They are always thinking about merging. And they often give the example, they say, just like all the rivers flow into the ocean and become one with the sea, so in the same way we should become one with the Supreme. So, Nirvishesh Vadira, Tara Shashumai, Paramishra Bhagavan Shange, Milito Hoi Jawar Jano, Tara Bhasto, Baitai Tadir Chorom Lokho, Tara Onekshumaita Udharam Daeche, Jirakum Shamustra Nudhi Shamudra Gye, Milito Hoi, Tamuni Amra, Nudhir Mata Amra Gye, Shai Bhav. So the impersonalists are fond of this example, but this example is actually not good. It has some defect. The defect is that the process is not distinguished between from the people who are performing the process. The process which they are practicing, the path of self-realization, their path of merging, is, it doesn't distinguish between the person who's performing, who's following the path, the person who's actually, the impersonalist, pers that impersonalist who's desiring to merge, and the process of merging, they don't make any distinction. So, this is the first thing that we have done. It is the first thing that we have done. We have done the first thing that we have done in the first place. तारा नीचे दर के एवं शे जो पौधों दिखा के इटर मुद्दे कुनो पार्थो को तारा शिकार करेना। There has to be a difference. One is a conscious living entity and is practicing a process. तो एक टी चेतना जुकतो जी जो पौधों ती उन्नतन कर चेतो तार किचु निर्देशन था का उच्च। The process is not conscious. जो पौधों ती टा उन्नतन कर चेतो शिटा शोजीब ना है। so, it should, they should understand that just like the rivers enter into the ocean, within that river there are living entities, there are aquatic creatures, maybe fish, maybe turtles, these kind of things which are there in the river and they may flow into the ocean. नदीते जिस समस्त जलचर प्राणी रहे चे मत्स्य तर पढ़े कुर्मो पक्षो तो ये समस्त प्राणी ग्लो गिये समुद्रे शंगे गिये मिशे जाते। So the living entities in the in the river they keep their individuality when they flow into the sea. They don't just lose their individuality. तो ये समस्त प्राणी समुद्र जफ़म गिये मिलित हो चे समुद्रे तो फ़ोन तारा तादर जे निजोश्चता शेटा के तारा बजाय रखे हरी फ so, the, the Acharyas and the great devotees, they are described to be like sharks in the ocean. 
তো আচার্যরা তারা হলেন এরকম মহান ভক্ত এবং তাদেরকে বলা হয় যে অমৃত সমুদ্রের মকর তারা the river the river flowing into the sea there's a, these are like different paths of liberation এবং এই নদী সমূহ যেমন সমুদ্রে গিয়ে মিলিত হচ্ছে এগুলো আসলে মুক্তির বিভিন্ন পন্থা and the, and the for the impersonal they say desire to enter into the ocean into they considered entering into the ocean the liberation এবং এই নির্বিশেষ বাদীরা তারা সমুদ্রে প্রবেশ করতে চায় এবং এটাকে তারা মনে করে যে এটাই মুক্তি so the impersonal is there in the river water and that river water will gradually come to the sea come into the ocean নির্বিশেষ বাদীরা নিজেদেরকে নদীর জলের সঙ্গে তুলনা করে যেটি ক্রমা এইভাবে <laughs> নদী সমূহ যে সমুদ্রে গিয়ে মিলিত হচ্ছে এটি অতটা ভালো আসলে ভক্তরা হলেন সেই প্রাণীর মতো যারা সমুদ্রে প্রবেশ করে তাদের সেই সমস্ত অবস্থান বা স্বতন্ত্র তারা বজায় রাখে the great devotees and the acharyas they are compared to sharks and the sharks they're never caught in the net they're never caught by any fisherman mohan je acharya tader ke makure shonge tulona koreche hangor je tara kokhono jale dhora pore na kokhono motsho chibira tader ke dhorte pare na the sharks also never go in the rivers they are always in the ocean in the sea they enjoy the ocean ebong shei somosto makorera makorera kokhono nodite gomon kore na ebong tara samudrei sob shomoy anondo upobhog kore so the same way the pure devotees the great acharyas they always remain in the ocean of devotional service to krishna so eki bhabe ei somosto mohan acharya ra krishna er bhakto ra tara sob shomoy krishna er প্রেমময় সেবাতেই তারা মগ্ন থাকে নিযুক্ত থাকে দিস ডিভোরিস আর নট ইন্টারেস্টেড ইন এনি अदर প্রসেস এই সমস্ত ভক্তরা আর অন্য কোন পন্থায় উৎসাহী নন দিস अदर প্রসেসেস লাইক লিবারেশন অন্যান্য পন্থা রয়েছে যেমন মুক্তি ইট টেক আ লং টাইম এবং এটি অনেক লম্বা সময় নেয় এন্ড দেন দে 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 লিবারেশন ইজ অনলি পার্শিয়াল দ্যাট দে ক্যান কাম ব্যাক अगेन দে ফল ব্যাক अगेन এবং এই মুক্তিটা আসলে আংশিক এবং তার ফলে আবার ফিরে আসার সম্ভাবনা রয়েছে বাট দ্য ডিভোরিস লাইক দ্য শার্কস দে আর ইটারনালি ইন দ্য ওশন অফ দ্য ওশন অফ সার্ভ কিন্তু ভগবত ভক্তরা তারা মকরের মতো তারা চিরন্তন ভাবে সমুদ্রে অবস্থান করে দে হ্যাভ নো ইন্টারেস্ট ইন গোইং ইন দ্য রিভার তাদের কোনো নদীতে যাওয়ার তাদের কোনো ইচ্ছা নেই then shrila rupa goswami prays more to the spiritual master this is a, uh, this is a, the, the fourth verse he prays to the shrila sanatana goswami for the protection of bhakti rasamrita sindhu the ocean of the pure nectar of devotional service from the argumentative logicians who unnecessarily meddle in the science and service to the lord he compares their arguments and logic to volcanic eruptions in the midst of the ocean in the midst of the ocean volcanic eruptions can do very little harm and similarly those who are against devotional service to the lord and who put forward many philosophical theses about the ultimate transcendental realization cannot disturb this great ocean of devotional service 
প্রপার লিখছেন যে শিলা রূপ গোস্বামী তার গুরুদেব শিলা সনাতন গোস্বামীর কাছে প্রার্থনা করেছেন যে সমস্ত মীমাংসকেরা ভগবৎ তত্ত্ববিজ্ঞানেও তর্কের অবতারণা করার চেষ্টা করে তাদের থেকে তিনি যেন ভক্তির অসমৃত সিন্ধুকে রক্ষা করেন তিনি এই সমস্ত যুক্তি এবং তর্ককে সমুদ্রের গর্ভস্থিত আগ্নেয়গিরির সঙ্গে তুলনা করেছেন সমুদ্রের মধ্যে এই ধরনের আগ্নেয়গিরির অগ্নুৎপাত যেমন কোনো ক্ষতি করতে পারে না তেমনি যারা ভগবৎ ভক্তির বিরোধিতা করে ভগবানের বিরোধিতা করে এবং পরম তত্ত্বজ্ঞান সম্বন্ধে নানা রকম কাল্পনিক মতবাদ উপস্থাপন করে তারা ভগবৎ ভক্তি রূপে এই বিশাল সমুদ্রের কোনো ক্ষতি করতে পারে না So actually this is the fifth verse. So the this is the fifth, the fifth verse. No, we finished the fourth. Rupa Goswami is giving a benediction. He's seeking a benediction for the protection of this book, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. So Rupa Goswami is Bhakti Rasamrita Granthe Shrukhar Juno Prarthana Gurchen. Whenever we take up devotional service, there will always be some opposition, some things obstacles to be overcome. আমরা যখনই ভগবত ভক্তি পথে নিয়োজিত হব তখনই আমাদের পথে অনেক বাধা বিঘ্ন আসবে যেগুলো আমাদেরকে অবশ্যই অতিক্রম করতে হবে। So in this case Sri Rupa Goswami sees the obstacle as the argumentative argumentative logicians and the speculative philosophers that these are the obstacles to his treatise on pure devotional service. Sri Rupa Goswami এখানে বলছেন যে তার্কিক এবং মীমাংসকেরা এরা তর্কের বা যুক্তির দ্বারা ভক্তির অসমৃদ্ধ সিন্ধুকে আক্রমণ করতে পারে তো তিনি তাদের সেই আক্রমণ থেকে সুরক্ষার জন্য প্রার্থনা করেছেন এবং তিনি তার জ্যেষ্ঠ ভ্রাতা এবং গুরুদেব ছিল সনাতন গোস্বামী নিকট প্রার্থনা করেছেন যাতে তিনি আশীর্বাদ প্রদান করেন যে এই গ্রন্থটি যেন সুরক্ষা পায় এবং এই তার্কিক এবং মীমাংসকদের তুলনা করা হয়েছে সমুদ্রের গর্ভস্থিত অগ্নি আগ্নেয়গিরির সঙ্গে So when there's some eruption some kind of volcanic eruption in the ocean it cannot do any real harm to the ocean সমুদ্রের গর্ভে যদি কোনো আগ্নেয়গিরি থেকে অগ্নুৎপাত হয় তো এটি সমুদ্রের কোনো ক্ষতি করতে পারে না So these people who are speculative philosophers they cannot they cannot really do any harm to devotional service একই ভাবে এই সমস্ত তার্কিক এবং মীমাংসকরা তাদের তর্ক যুক্তির দ্বারা ভগবৎ ভক্তির বিজ্ঞানের কোনো ক্ষতি সাধন করতে পারেন না বিকজ ভক্তি ইয়োগ দিস দিস ইজ আ গ্রেট ওশন দা ওশন অফ ভক্তি কারণ এটি হলো একটি বিশাল সমুদ্র ভক্তি সমুদ্র সো হোয়াট হোয়াট হার্ম ইজ ওয়ান ভোলক্যানিক ইরাপশন গোইং টু ডু টু দা গ্রেট ওশন একটি আগ্নেয়গিরি থেকে উৎপাত কতটা ক্ষতি করতে পারে একটি সমুদ্র So then the, the, the six, uh, the last of the six verses, which Srila Rupa Goswami uses in his Mangala Charan, he prays, the author of Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Srila Rupa Goswami, very humbly submits that he is just trying to spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. Although he humbly thinks himself unfit for this work, This should be the attitude of all preachers of the Krishna consciousness movement following in the footsteps of Srila Rupa Goswami. We should never think of ourselves as great preachers but should always consider that we are simply instrumental to the previous acharyas and simply by following in their footsteps we may be able to do something for the benefit of suffering humanity Sri Prabhupada likhen bhukti rasamrita sindhu granther praneta Sri Rup Goswami ottonto binoyer shonge janachen je tini kebol somosto prithibi jure Krishna bhavanamrita prachar korar chesta korchen ebong gobhir binoyer boshoborti hoye tini mone korchen je ei kaj jotha jotho bhabe sampadan korar joggyota tar nei 
শ্রীল রূপ গোস্বামীর পদাঙ্ক অনুসরণ করে কৃষ্ণ ভবনা আমৃত আন্দোলনের প্রচারকদের মনোভাব এই রকমই হওয়া উচিত আমাদের কখনোই মনে করা উচিত নয় যে আমরা মস্ত বড় প্রচারক হয়ে গেছি পক্ষান্তরে আমাদের সব সময় মনে করা উচিত যে আমরা পূর্বতন আচার্যদের হাতে ক্রীড়ানক মাত্র এবং তাদের পদাঙ্ক অনুসরণ করার ফলেই আমরা দুর্দশা ক্লিষ্ট জনগণের যথার্থ মঙ্গল সাধন করতে সক্ষম হব shows his genuine humility considering himself to be unqualified for this work shilarup goshami ekhane nijeke prakrito bhabe binay porichoy diyechen je nijeke ajoggo mone korechen erokom ekti grontho pranetar bepare we see this mood among all the great acharyas krishna das kaviraj similarly in the chaitanya charitamrita he also displayed that humble mood আমরা দেখি যে সমস্ত মহান আচার্যদের মধ্যে এই ধরনের মনোভাব দেখা যায় যেমন কৃষ্ণদাস কবিরাজ তিনি যখন চৈতন্য চৈতন্যমৃত রচনা করা শুরু করলেন তখন তিনি এরকম ভাব অঙ্গীকার করেছিলেন কৃষ্ণদাস কাবিরাজ জগাই মাই হইতে মুনি সেই পাপিষ্টা পুরুষে রাখিত হইতে মুনি সেই লগিষ্টা কৃষ্ণদাস কাবিরাজ সেই আই এম মোর সিম্পল দেন জগাই এন মাধাই anyone who utters my name loses all their pious activities krishna das kaviraj nijeke bolchen je ami jogai madhai theke odhik potito odhik nimnogami ebong je keu amar naam uchcharon kore she tar somosto punno hariye fele krishna das kaviraj said anyone who utters my name they become sinful and anyone who hears my name they lose their pious activities বলছেন যে যে আমার নাম উচ্চারণ করে সে তার সমস্ত পূর্ণ কর্ম হারিয়ে ফেলে only the mercy of lord nichananda could deliver such a fallen soul as myself কেবল মাত্র নিত্যানন্দ প্রভু রশিম আঘাত করুণার প্রভাবে এরকম আত্মা উদ্ধার পেতে পারে and then similarly you have narottam das how he prays that uh, paramak আমি <laughs> না আচার্যরা যেরকম আমরা দর্শনার্থীতে গাই শ্রীকৃষ্ণ চৈতন্য প্রভু দয়া কর মোড়ে তো এখানে দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে শ্রীচৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু তিনি এসছেন পতিত পাবন রূপে তিনি পতিত বা আমাদের মতো নিচ জনদের উদ্ধার করার জন্য এসছেন তিনি যদি উদ্ধার না করেন তাহলে কিভাবে আমাদের উদ্ধার হবে says chinada piso ni chena karore vasa ishnu na mane na mane dena kirtanya how we should be humble how we should be tolerant offer all respects to others think of ourselves lower than the straw in the street ready to give all respect to others and not expect any respect for ourselves tar pore shikshashto kome amra dekhte pai chinada piso ni chena shloke je kibhabe amader তৃণ বা ঘাসের চেয়ে অনেক বেশি নিচ বা হতে হবে এবং তরু বা লতার চেয়েও আমাদেরকে অনেক বেশি সহিষ্ণু হতে হবে এবং কোনো রকম সম্মানের বা শ্রদ্ধার অপেক্ষা না রেখে সবাইকে শ্রদ্ধা নিবেদন করতে হবে so it's the duty of devotees to try to preach but they never consider themselves qualified to do it sri jitana mahaprabhu chechilen je somosto prithibide ei hoye namer prachar hok ebong bhaktoder tader uchit je sei mahaprabhur iccha onushare sei adeshe palon kore krishna bhavanante prachar kora kintu mahan bhaktora kokhonoi nijederke joggo prachar ba mahan pracharok hishebe gonno kore na sob shomoy nijeke ajoggo mone kore He always thinks himself to be unfit for that work. Avantara sob samaye nijeke oi shebati rajoggo bole mone kore. 
he, he, and if there is any success, then he gives all the credit to his spiritual master and to Krishna. So this is a mood of Srila Rupa Goswami, that he is very humbly praying that he can just try to do some service on behalf of Krishna. It's Prabhupada says, where devotee thinks himself simply an instrument to the, an instrument in the service of Krishna. So Prabhupada Aro Bolchen, Jai Bhakta Dudu Chit Nije Ke, Upu Lakha Matra Bole Mane Kora, Instrument Bole Mane Kora. Right. That, uh, in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna tells Arjuna, Nimita Matra Bhava Savyasachin. Just become an instrument in my service. And so devotee also prays like that, to be an instrument, to be a, a, a suitable instrument for the service of his spiritual master. Jagam Bhagavan, Arjuna ke Bhagavad Gita hai bol chen, jan Nimita Matra Bhava Savyasachin. Je tumi shudhu matra Nimita hao, and we pray that somehow the preacher prays somehow they, he can do, or give some benefit for the people at large who are suffering in this material world. So this is the invocational mantras. Now Rupa Goswami goes on to describe about the contents of this book. Srila Prabhupada describes Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu is divided into four parts. Just as the ocean is sometimes divided into four parts and there are different sections within each of these four parts. Originally in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the ocean is divided like the watery ocean into east, south, west and north, while the subsections within these different divisions are called waves. As in the ocean, there are always different waves, either on the eastern side, the southern side, the western side, or the northern side. Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu similarly has different waves. In the first part, there are four waves. The first part, the first being a general description of devotional service. The second concerns the regulative principles for executing devotional service and the third wave devotional service in ecstasy. In the fourth is the ultimate goal love of God. These will be explicitly described along with their different symptoms. <coughs> <coughs> ভক্তরা সম্মিলিত সিন্ধুকেও চারটি ভাগে ভাগ করা হয়েছে এবং সেই চারটি ভাগও আবার বিভিন্ন খণ্ডে বিভক্ত রয়েছে সেগুলোকে বলা হয় লহরী সমুদ্র যেমন পূর্বে পশ্চিমে উত্তরে দক্ষিণে ঢেউয়ের উদয় হয় তেমনি ভক্তরা সম্মিলিত সিন্ধুতেও বিভিন্ন লহরী রয়েছে প্রথম বিভাগে চারটি লহরী রয়েছে প্রথমটি হচ্ছে ভগবত ভক্তি সাধারণ বিবরণ দ্বিতীয়টি হচ্ছে বৈধি ভক্তির বিবরণ তৃতীয়টি হচ্ছে ভাব ভক্তির বিবরণ এবং চতুর্থটি হচ্ছে Prem Bhakti Vibaran, Vishesh Lakhan Shaho, Shai Lahori Guli, Shabistari Toh Habe, Bordana Akara Habe. So, Shri uh, Rupa Goswami has designed the book in this way, that there are four, there is a north, south, east, west, and within each section there are different waves. So we are hearing about the waves in this uh, first section, which is the Eastern section. Yeah. Sila Rup Goswami can be even no Jay Uttar Dukin, Purva Postim Shop, be even no dictate the Shamulas to Lahori, 
আছে সেই হিসাবে তিনি বিভক্ত করেছেন এর বিষয়সমূহ করে So first of all begins with a, we get we we'll hear a general description about devotional service. প্রথমে আমরা ভগবত ভক্তির সাধারণ সংজ্ঞা ব্যাপারে আমরা জানব। And then after that then Rupa Goswami will describe the regulative principles for the practice of devotional service. তারপরে রূপক গোস্বামী বর্ণনা করবেন যে ভক্তি যোগ অনুশীলনের যে সমস্ত বিধিবদ্ধ নিয়ম প্রণালী রয়েছে সেগুলো কিভাবে অনুশীলন করতে হয় প্রথমে আমাদেরকে বিভিন্ন বিধি নিয়ম পালন করতে হবে and then rupa goswami will go on to describe how devotional service can become ecstatic this is called bhava bhakti এবং তারপরে রূপ গোস্বামী বর্ণনা করবেন যে কিভাবে এটি ভাব ভক্তির স্তরে পৌঁছবে এবং তার চতুর্থটি হবে যে আমাদের যে সর্বোচ্চ লক্ষ্য প্রেম ভক্তি প্রাপ্ত করা সেই ব্যাপারে বর্ণনা Okay so Prabhupada continues the authorized description of bhakti or devotional service following in the footsteps of previous acharyas can be summarized in the following statement by Srila Rupa Goswami First class devotional service is known by one's tendency to be fully engaged in Krishna consciousness serving the Lord favorably The purport is that one may also be in Krishna consciousness unfavorably but that cannot be counted as pure devotional service pure devotional service should be free from the desire for any material benefit or for sense gratification as these desires are cultivated through fruit of activities and philosophical speculation generally people are engaged in different activities to get some material profit while most philosophers are engaged in pro proposing transcendental realization through volumes of word jugglery and speculation pure devotional service must always be free from such fruit of activity and philosophical speculation one has to learn krishna consciousness of pure devotional service from the authorities by spontaneous loving service shilo propa likchen shilo rup goshami purbaborte acharyader onushoron kore bhaktir prathomik bibaron ei bhabe diyechen anukul bhabe shri krishna seva kore purna rupe krishna bhavana তৎপর হওয়াই হচ্ছে উত্তম ভক্তির স্বরূপ এর তাৎপর্য হচ্ছে যে কেউ যদি প্রতিকূলভাবে কৃষ্ণ ভাবনায় ভাবিত হয় তাহলে তাকে শুদ্ধ ভক্তি বলা যায় না শুদ্ধ ভক্তি ইন্দ্রিয় তৃপ্তির প্রাকৃত অভিলাষ থেকে সম্পূর্ণ মুক্ত সকাম কর্ম এবং মনোধর্ম প্রসূত জ্ঞান উভয়ই ইন্দ্রিয় তৃপ্তির অভিলাষের প্রকাশ তাই শুদ্ধ ভক্তি যেন অবশ্যই জ্ঞান এবং কর্মের আবরণ থেকে মুক্ত হয় সাধারণত মানুষ কোনো কিছু লাভের আশায় নানা রকম কর্মে লিপ্ত হয় এবং মনোধর্মী জ্ঞানী ও দার্শনিকেরা জল্পনা কল্পনা ও শব্দ বিন্যাসের মাধ্যমে বড় বড় সমস্ত গ্রন্থ প্রণয়ন করে জনসাধারণকে চিন্ময় জ্ঞান দান করার অভিনয় করে শুদ্ধ ভক্তি অবশ্যই এই সমস্ত সকাম কর্ম এবং মনোধর্ম প্রসূত দার্শনিক জ্ঞান থেকে মুক্ত কৃষ্ণ ভাবনামৃত বা শুদ্ধ ভগবত ভক্তি অনুশীলন করতে হয় স্বতঃস্ফূর্ত প্রেমময়ী সেবার মাধ্যমে So Srila Rupa Goswami is giving his definition of pure devotional service. He's going to tell us all about devotional service. So he wants to establish first of all what is actually pure devotional service. Srila Rupa Goswami ekhane bhakti joger bibhinno prokar guli alochona korben ebong tini shorboprothom alochona korben je shuddho krishna bhakti bolte ki bojhe that verse is very important it's a memorization verse every devotee wants to know anya bilasita sunyam gyana karma jamana vritam anukho yena krishna no shilanam bhakti uttamam 
the Uttama Bhakti, the highest devotion, is that in which Lord Krishna is served favorably without desire for fruitive activity or philosophical speculation. Srilarup Goswami Anna Vila Shudashunam Sloke Bonana Kurachanje Shuddho Krishna Bhakti Daki Bola Hai Jedite Krishna Onukul Habe Premamoy Shabakura Krishna Shantushti Vidhana Prashtage Shetika Bola Hai Shuddha Krishna Bhakti. So very important for us to understand that there are qualities in devotional service. So it could be a Gurutta Purna Slok Jedite Bhagavad Bhakti Mahatto some devotional service is favorable and some is not favorable. Some devotional service will be favorable, will be very conducive for our spiritual advancement. But devotional service influenced by the modes of passion and ignorance is not favorable. People often engage in devotional activities influenced by the lower modes of nature. As Prabhupada says, one may be in Krishna consciousness unfavorably. That is not pure devotion. We want to cultivate pure devotion. Lord Chaitanya was interested in discussing pure devotion. When he asked Ramananda Rai to give verses about the goal of life, he, would, he, he was not happy until finally Ramananda, Ramananda Rai gave a verse describing pure devotion. Ramananda Rai gave many verses. He, he gave, first of all, he said Varnashram. Lord Chaitanya said, no, it's, it's external, go on. And then he said, uh, Karmarpanam, offering the results of our work, as described in Bhagavad Gita. Lord Chaitanya said, no, go higher. Then he said, Swadharma Tiag. Lord Chaitanya also was not satisfied. So, Tini, on a glow slope, Bolchil and Potomitini Bolchil and Jay. What is the first one? Barnashram. Barnashram. So, Tini Bolchil and Jay, Barnashram, Dharmer Kothatakun, Tinibol and Tabaji, Tarpatinibol Jay, Shock Kormo Fall, Orponam, Niger, Orjito Kormo Fall, Putan Kora, Shadatinibol and Baji. Uh, uh, then and then he gave a verse about uh, Jnana Mishra Bhakti, Tarp devotion mixed with knowledge. But then finally he gave a verse from the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. And Lord Chaitanya said, yes, this is pure devotion. Go on from this. Now discuss this. So similarly, Rupa Goswami is describing that pure devotional service is what actually required and that should be understood. That pure devotional service must be favorable to Krishna. So, Rupa Goswami Bhornana Kurachan Je Ashule Shuddha Krishna Bhakti Bolte Ki Bujha Hai Shita Amadir Janao Chita Bang Shaibhavya Krishna Shivaya Amadir Rato Hao Ji. So, we will go on tomorrow. Amra Agamikal Abar. Shri Rupa Goswami Prabhupada Ki Jai. Go back to Vrinda Ki Jai.
What time is the program tonight?